All right, guys, once again, it's Kennard Vernon Stewart here for the podcast, Talking Auburn Football. Go ahead and like this video, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And as always, it's great to be an Auburn Tiger or Eagle. College football playoff rankings come out tomorrow. Auburn is awaiting where their spot is going to be going into conference championship weekend. Going to be kind of hard to tell because there's so the SEC is so top-heavy with teams who will either go to the playoffs or take up spots in the New Year's Six poll. So it's going to be kind of hard to determine where Auburn will go. But in other good news for the Tigers, though, Anders Carlson, the, the man who redeemed himself in the Alabama game, was four for four for field goals. Hit one 50-yarder, was also perfect between the 40 and the 49, and all year, anything below 40, he was perfect in any way. Now, this is why this is significant. Because of the game against Alabama, Anders Carlson statistically improved his stats overall because last year he was 60% kicking the football, but this year he was 70%. And if you look at the course of the season, where he struggled the most was between the 40 and the 49-yard line. Once he starts to improve those stats overall, he'll be kind of sort of, not quite, but kind of sort of on his brother Daniel Carlson's type level as a kicker for the Auburn Tigers. I attributed that kind of success to one deliberation. He had to deliberately look at his situation and say, hey, I have to improve. Two is coaching. I could tell that some of the techniques um, with his kicking, he was a lot more confident with his steps. His timing was a lot better than um, other kicks in the past for this year. So big shout out to Dan, uh, Anders Carlson, who really redeemed himself 70% yards kicking. And we look forward to some more success out of him in the future. Um, also, I think Auburn is in a really good position, as, especially when you look at this recruiting class, the number eight class in the country. Probably want to add a little bit more to it. Only 21 signees so far. We look for the early signing period, which takes place December 16th. Be on the lookout for that. Auburn's next basketball game is going to be against Furman, and that's going to be on December the 5th. Go ahead and like this video, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Got some more content coming probably later on today. As always, it's great to be an Auburn Tiger, War Eagle.